Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hello, and welcome to HGTV. I'm your host, Nolan Warner. And I'm Nick Kinder. And group ready for the latest updates in ladies golf, boys and girls cross country, and mind-blowing blowouts in boys soccer. But first, to Dallas with the weather and quote of the day. Hey everyone, it's game day, and for today's game broadcast, I bring you, it's going to rain tonight, and it's raining cats and dogs tonight, for the game, but there will be a high of 77, a low of 66, and for the quote of the day, I believe in truth, and I'm also a big fan of game. Have a great day. Thanks, Dallas. A happy birthday goes out to Lillian Oldham, as well as our very own Emily Morales, and the rest of you who have birthdays over the weekend. For lunch today, we'll be having a quesadilla in line one and two, in line three, soup and salad bar featuring broccoli soup, leftover spicy chicken, chicken strips, and country fried steak in line four, and finally in line five, pepperoni calzone. Best Buddies has a t-shirt fundraiser that is starting now, and it goes through September 14th. If you would like a shirt, see Mrs. or Mr. Jagger or Mrs. Jamison once she is back. And now to an informative video from our college career coach about everything regarding the SAT and ACT, and then to sports with Alyssa. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Ms. Scanlon. I'm your college connection coach. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about taking the SAT and the ACT. So the SAT and the ACT are two national tests that every college-bound student is going to take. Now, when you're a sophomore and junior, you take something called the PSAT. That's a practice SAT. It's really only to give you good scholarship opportunities, actually great scholarship opportunities, and to tell you how much you need to practice for the actual SAT and ACT. Now when you're a junior, that's when you really should be taking your first test. You can do either the SAT or the ACT. You don't have to do both. But typically it's a good idea if you have the time to do it. Some students find they score a lot better on one versus the other. Now to sign yourself up, you go to either SAT.org or ACT.org. These tests are offered once a month on a Saturday morning throughout the school year. So you only have about you know, seven, eight chances to take it. And you do have to sign up a month before the testing date. The deadlines are a full four weeks before you test. So it can't be a last minute decision. If you're on free or reduced lunch, go to the counselors. They have a waiver that can make your first SAT or ACT completely free. Now, this test is required by most colleges, but I have good news. Ball State University just announced that they're gonna be test optional. This means they don't require a testing score. But if you're on the line for getting in or going for a more competitive program, it can still be a good idea. It can be another area they look at to say, this student would be a good fit at our campus. But still, most other colleges across the country require it, just to make sure your GPA actually reflects your knowledge. So it's really for you and the college. It's making sure you're gonna be a good fit, you'll be successful, and you have the knowledge to come in and be a great college freshman. Now, if you're a senior, College applications start being due November 1st. So if you aren't really happy with your SAT, ACT scores, there's still time to take another test before then. And I have this seat at my table, the green table in the commons outside the cafeteria. It has your testing deadlines, your testing dates. So come on by, pick one of those up so you have them at the tip of your fingers. But, you know, otherwise there's a ton of free study resources online. It should be testing over things you've already learned in class. So don't worry, you'll be great. In yesterday's sports action, the ladies' golf team shot a team score of 201. Sydney Caesar led all players with a 45, followed by Katie Benefield with a 47, Emily Shipley with a 54, Paige Terry a 55, and Raylan Mitchell with a 62. The Hot Dogs emerged victorious with solid play all around and won the match 14-0. Junior Brian Chavez, senior Edgar Flores, freshman Christian Mejia, and junior Noel Mora and freshman Yobani Alanis all had a single goal from Frankfurt. Junior Leo Mejia, junior Chris Hernandez, and senior Manny Garcia each had two goals on the night. And senior Roger Angelis scored a three goal hat trick on the night. And Leo Mejia and Manny Garcia each recorded three assists on the night. The Hot Dogs are back in action this Saturday at home at the Hot Dog Invite where they will play Delphi in the first match at 9 a.m. And in cross-country action, the boys and lady runners finished second behind Hamilton Heights, beating out both Clinton Central and Lafayette Central Catholic. 
The boys were led by Hugo Hernandez, who dominated the night with a 18.25, and Kevin Espinoza coming in second with a 19.22. While the girls were led by a fourth place finisher, Karina Olanis, with a 23.12, and seventh place finisher, Blazer Solis, with a 23.59. And also, don't forget to come out and support your Frankfurt Hot Dogs football team against Clinton Central tonight, being the first matchup since 1991, with the dogs leading the series 27-7. So come out and support the hot dogs tonight at Fall Sports Night. The game starts at 7. That's it for sports. Back to the studio with Nick and Nolan. Thanks, Alyssa. That's it for the daily announcement. Make sure to like and subscribe and enjoy this video of the football team as they prepare for a long overdue matchup against Clinton Central. It's the first match in 27 years with Frankfurt dominating the series 27-7. to Also, credits to Mo and Obed for filming the video. Have a great weekend.